Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! How are you doing, Locka Lester? Are you becoming a better Locky Tube by helping people? Hmm? Darn it! I told you not to call me Locka Lester! Gah, you never listen to me. But that's why you're so cute. I imagine she has braces. Am I the only one that imagines she has braces? Oh, what is it, son? You need something? Yep, you're the last person to talk to here before we head out. Thank you from the bottom of my trunk, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Alright, bye. Alright. Time to do the things we always do in between chapters. Starting with talking to everybody. But, but first, Paracarry wants to say something. Uh, Minty, deliver letters. Hang on a moment. Another letter to leave ever. To me? Who's it from? The Wise Wisterwood? Who's Wise Wisterwood? Thank you for making the flowers bloom so beautifully? Oh! It's a thank you note. It says, please drop by flower fields sometime. Wow! How delightful! But how does Wise Wisterwood know about me? Oh, excuse me. I'm rambling. This is a small gift to say thank you for delivering the letter. Please take it. Alright, got another star piece. Let's talk to you for real. I can imagine all those flowers, so colorful and happy, turning their faces to the sun. Mario, you saved them. Flower power. You're a true hero. I've always been content just to watch Minty at work. At least that's how I used to feel, but lately I've been... I've grown restless. What good is looking at her? If I never get up the nerve to talk to her, she'll never know my true feelings. Oh, Minty. Maybe I could talk to her up on Shooting Star Summit. I'm kind of wondering if Minty's noticed you staring at her by now. I mean, you've been doing it the entire game. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, is Chuck Quizmo here yet? Nope. Well, in that case, um, let's check the news. Mysterious Events File. Reports from the bizarre interdimensional door. Another world, same story. A world populated by flowers lies on the other side of the mysterious door in Minty's flower garden. It should come as no surprise to learn that Bowser's goons were causing trouble there. Does anybody ever say goons anymore? But guess what? Her own Mario did a little extermination at the pests in the garden. By kicking Bowser's underlings out of the world, he also saved another star spirit. Now that's flower power. I wonder if Minty wrote that. Twitter Underground News... X's and O's are hearting. Did you know that? Now there are secrets out. A gossip-loving toad. It's not really making their secret out if you're being all mysterious about who they are. Unless that's their actual names. What kind of parent would name their kid XXX? Never mind, ooh. Alright, how about some mail? Got a few letters here. Let's start with Cooper. Cooper's fan. Dear Mr. Cooper, I must apologize for sending a letter out of the blue. But I had to! I saw you walking in Toad Town with Mario. You seemed so strong and brave. 
So dashing. If it's okay, I'd really love to have a talk with you. Oh, how embarrassing. I'll write to you again soon. Good luck, brave Koopa. Your fan. I, I would hate to break it to you, Cooper's fan, but Cooper doesn't talk much. Sashimi. Dear Mom, Sushi's a mom? First I heard you were lost in the jungle, then I heard you were traveling with Mario. Don't do anything dangerous. Come back as quickly as you can. I'm waiting for you. You're gonna be a grand cheap. I want you to see the small fry. Your daughter, Sashimi. Huh. Would not have pegged Sushi as a grandmother. Uh, Lucky Lucy's got one already from Lucky Lulu. We just talked to you. Here you go. Dear Lucky Lester, where are you? You'd better be a good Lucky Two and return soon. I'll be faithfully waiting for you near the Wise Wisterwood. If you don't come back, I'll search for you till the end of time. I'll give you such a spiny storm you'll. I'm sorry, Lo. I get mad when I worry. You're lucky, Lulu. Someone is clingy. In fact, we've met a few clingy, clingy characters in this game, it seems like. Okay, before I talk to anybody else, I want to make a quick trip over to Shitting Star Summit. There's not any badges I want, or at least not any badges I can get right now. But I really want to get that Shooting Star from the treasure chest if I can hold it. I can't hold it. Never mind then. I'll keep it in mind for later. What else do I want to do? Well, I suppose we could head to the dojo. Now that we have all of my party members, I can finally do that thing I wanted to do. So let me go ahead and say before I do any of that. Actually, let me do some badgery arrangement just in case. Do something to kind of help me out here. I start by taking off Quick Change. Equip Happy Heart. I won't need Happy Flower, so I'll also go ahead and equip Damage Dodge. And we'll get out Goombario. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, let's see here. Hey, that's a first degree card. I have one too. See? A first degree card. That means I'm as strong as you. Cool. I'm bad. Yeah. You're about to be bad. Been a while since we've been here, hasn't it? Let's talk to these guys again. Been a while, so I forgot what to say. When fighting, you must try many tactics. A good fighter does not use the same simple attack each time. Each enemy has its own character and weak points. Sometimes you use your body. Sometimes you use your items. But always, always, you must use your mind. Sometimes you will be surprised by what's effective. Indeed, like status effects. It is amazing when status effects come into play. A wise fighter knows that sometimes the best tactic is not to fight at all. There's no cowardice in choosing to run away from a superior foe. Of course, you will find some enemies that are impossible to escape once in battle. Face them with bravery. Cough hack! Ah, Mario. Welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? Try. Very well. This time, Lee will fight you. Now, Lee, let me see how you handle Mario. Certainly, sir. I will defeat him, Master. I already took care of the first opponent. I was very dishonorable. I bet you've never seen a move like this before.
Well, I mean, I have seen it, just not in this game. It's Lee disguised as me. His max HP is 20. Do I really look like that? No way. He'll use head bonk and tattle. He has the same skills as me. Of course, I'm much better looking and more debonair. And I hope that I'm stronger. That's a good question. What sort of abilities would you possibly have? Uh, I should have used strength... Uh, equip strength... The. I should have equipped shrink stomp while I was at it. No, oh, well, we can use chill out. I don't want to defeat him quite yet. It's Mario, silly! He's here to save Princess Peach, who was kidnapped by Bowser. Remember? He fights until the bitter end, no matter what enemies attack. Oh, you're not gonna tell us Mario's max HP and stuff? That's lame. But yeah, that's kind of a funny thing there. Eh? Even tattles. I don't think he tattles your partner. Might have to kind of find out. Well, for the moment, let's go ahead and swap to Cooper. And just gonna keep using this so that we can continuously lower Lee's strength. Kind of think of it, this will be handy for the next fight as well. Now, this is why I wanted to wait until now before finally fighting Lee. This is Lee disguised as Cooper, max HP is 20. Lee has disguised himself as Cooper perfectly, so his attack power is the same as Cooper's usual power. Just like Cooper, he attacks with his shell. If you flip him over, you'll beat him with ease. Incidentally, Lee's red scarf and wristband look cooler than Cooper's. How? If it's perfect, it should be identical. Don't tell Cooper I said that, though. You heard that, folks. Don't tell anybody. You are not needed in this fight. Uh, best to lower strength some more. Since that worn out. It's kind of fun tattling things in this game, gotta say. I'm sure you've paid attention to how much I tattle things and characters and places throughout the game. Of course, tattling is the ultimate reason why I do practice runs, so that I know pretty much what would be most interesting to tattle. Because tattling every place... It would get boring. A lot of maps don't really have that interesting tattles. Same with most characters. You know, I haven't tattled Lee in his normal form yet. This is Lee of the Dojo. He's training under the Master and is happy to fight us. Indeed, look at that smile. 20 HP, 5 attack. Definitely a good thing I've lowered his attack then. He has mastered the art of disguise, so don't let it phase you when he suddenly mirrors us. Remember, he can't stay disguised forever. Don't let his strange tactics throw you off guard, no matter how many times he transforms. I really wish... Um... Okay, what? I thought he only tattled the one who was out. Well, it's a good thing he didn't, because I forgot about having Goombario out. Still, though, that is a cool ability. I wish I had it. I mean, never mind the fact that I'm a skunk now. Canonically, 
I have not turned into a skunk. I've just always been a skunk. Yeah, that's what we're going with. All of those videos where you saw me as a raccoon? That was just a facade. Now you see my true self, potentially, assuming I don't change back. As if I were going to change back, because why would I change back? It wouldn't make sense to change back, because I've always been a skunk. Anyway, this is Lee disguised as a bow. Lee has disguised himself as bow perfectly. So is attack power, same as bow's power. That smack attack is brutal. So cruel. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a good thing that I lowered Bo's uh, or Lee's attack there. Um, I guess next we'll go for Bombette. However, let's do the Star Spirit thing. Get some focusing. Oh right, got a block. His attack is kind of high for that particular attack. Speaking of which... By the way, the reflections are a nice touch on the floor there. It's pretty obvious how the reflections are done. It basically just takes the characters and adds a copy of them under the floor. Probably adding some transparency somewhere. The Nintendo 64 wasn't quite capable of handing real reflections. Genku could do it, though. Not very well. Reflections were kind of fuzzy, but it could. Bell's power has run out. That's the first time I've actually seen it tell me that. Well, now I know that I definitely need to do some recharging. He disguises Bombette. He disguises himself perfectly. Sure, he looks cute as Bombette, but he packs a punch. It's a good thing he didn't use any of the explosive attacks. Alright, who else do we want? How about Paracarry? It's kind of lame how he's repeating himself every time he transforms. Yes, Lee, I definitely have seen that before. Multiple times. He's like one of those bosses in Sonic the Hedgehog. Now dodge this! Now dodge this! Now dodge this! I suppose that's actually a trope in a lot of platformers and video games, but Sonic is especially about th about that. It's no use! It's no use! I suppose I didn't necessarily need the boost in, or the, the HP regen, but every little bit helps. Anyway, blah blah blah, he's usually slow, but once he's in battle, he's a whirlwind of feet and feathers. He's a sight to behold in the heat of battle. To tell the truth, I think he's the most intimidating one on our team. Really? Yeah, I suppose I could see that. His ultimate attack is pretty dangerous.
Now, who's next? I already did Bo, how about what? Uh, let's see here. You think by now I would get used to the idea that what I want to do is boost star energy. Or possibly swap. Oh, that attack is definitely a little bit stronger. Remember, don't stomp on him. Her? Except Lee's normally male, but right now he's a she. Whatever. You'll get a massive electric charge if you do. A couple more to go. You know what? Let's throw in an attack. We're going to have to actually defeat him at some point. So it seems to me that Watt is perhaps the most dangerous possibility as far as cloning goes. Mario, now I will finish you. Huh, even got a little bu a bit of extra dialogue there. Lee disguised as sushi. Oh, sushi looks tough. Think she'd be mad if she heard that? He has disguised himself as Sushi perfectly. That part's the same. I'm not too thrilled to have to fight Sushi. She's strong. Y you're kind of repeating yourself, gotta say. And no, I don't think that Sushi would be mad if she heard that. I think she would actually be quite proud. Okay, you definitely need to chill out now. And only one character left. This is Lee disguised as Lucky Lester. Max HP is 20. It's kind of weird how Sushi seems like the only character where there was actually extra dialogue after that information. And this part's different too. If I remember our battle with the real Lucky Lester correctly, this one seems to be weaker. Lee has disguised himself Lucky Lester perfectly. Yeah, that's confusing. What consistency? Dodging that spiny flip is tough, so pay attention. Also, I like how you call Lockalister weak. He is indeed a weak character. Maybe not physically. But definitely as a character.
Alright, time to finish this. Enough! Mario is the winner! Lee, you have much training to do. Very well, I give you this, Mario. Yay! Finally got this! You are welcome to train here with us anytime. Cough, wheeze. Do you say anything new? No? Welcome to our dojo for purposes you come here today. No only like dropping in. Very well, please feel free to observe our training. Please. Your training is boring. Hey, that's... a second degree card? Whoa, cool! You fought your way to a second degree card? Mario, you're awesome! It actually wasn't that difficult. Definitely took longer than I expected to get all those tattles in, I gotta say, but... Eh, it was kind of worth it. Okay, let me go ahead and rethink my stuff here. I think the other thing was... Quick change? Yeah. Okay, well, now that we've finally taken care of that, let's go ahead and head into our first episode break of today's stream. We will be right back. And when we come back, I will continue to be a skunk as I always have. <laughs> 